Hello, it's Jim Hutchins for the Jerusalem Connection Spot Report for this week. As I mentioned last week, I'm in Jerusalem. This is coming to you live from Jerusalem. This is Resurrection Sunday in Jerusalem. I got here last Thursday. I attended a number of the services. Monday, Thursday, Good Friday, Saturday. Went to the Garden Tomb this morning for their service. That's always very special. I'm here at the Armenian Catholic Church, and I attended a service here. And uh, while Resurrection Sunday is a glorious celebration of who we are as Christians, we only we we're the only religion that has a live leader. Uh, the rest of the religious leaders of all other religions are dead, and that distinguishes us from all others. And it's a glorious distinction. It gives us great hope because he rose from the dead and we can likewise rise from the dead. But the service at the uh, Armenian Catholic Church brought a sobering perspective to this. Behind me is a plaque, I hope you can see it, but it's to the, a memorial plaque to the 1,500,000 Armenians that were killed by the Turks between 1915 and 1918. It's called the Armenian Genocide. And it's a sober reminder on this day, because this is Resurrection Sunday, but this is October 20, or, uh, April 24th, where they remember uh, that massacre, the Armenian Genocide. And uh, I think it's a sober reminder to us, not only that it's happened in the past, uh, it was the first Holocaust of the 20th, 20th century, but it's a it's a uh, sobering reminder that there is an agenda that is out there uh, among Islamists that Ahmadinejad of Iran has said he sees himself as the fulfillment of a prophetic figure who will come to liberate Jerusalem. And uh, that means the elimination of all Jews and Christians, all infidels. And that's, a, that's his agenda. He stated that. It's on writing. It's on film. And so as we celebrate this great day, and it is a great day, not a cloud in the sky, but as we celebrate this great, great day, we need to remember that there is one who has a dedicated agenda to destroy all Christians, to destroy all Jews, and to take Jerusalem. But the hope that we have is not only greater is he that's in us than he that's in the world, but he rules and reigns and he's coming again. Even so, come quickly, Lord Jesus.